Hey guys, what's up? What's happening? Today we're gonna talk about posh shows. So you guys know I've been doing live shows on Whatnot since June. June 22nd was my first show. I've been on there, I've been having so much fun. Poshmark announced recently that they are gonna start having live shows. It was a smart move on their part because they definitely realized that a bunch of their sellers jumped from Poshmark over to Whatnot. Um, so they are currently in beta phase right now. So just keep that in mind when I talk about the things that I don't like. I don't really think it's fair to compare Posh shows to whatnot right now because they're in beta, um, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I have some notes on my phone. I'm not gonna go in any particular order, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna tell you guys the things that I think they need to change. Okay, the first thing I have written down is that the chat goes so fast, so, so fast. It is so hard to read the comments in the chat. What I like about Whatnot is that when you have over 50 people in your room, you cannot see who enters your show on your phone. On your computer, you can still see it, um, but on your phone, you can't. And I feel like a lot of people run um, from their phone, like they use the camera on their phone and then run things from the computer. At least that's what I do. I feel like that's the easiest. I literally hate running things from my phone. That's something we'll talk about in a second. Um, so yeah, so with whatnot, um, you don't see every time somebody enters the room if you have over 50 people. With Poshmark, you see every time somebody enters, regardless of how many people you have in your room, and that is so annoying because it clogs up the chat and you can't see what people are saying to you, and it's just like, ah, the chat like literally makes me dizzy. It's super hard to keep up with what people are saying, so I feel like, I feel like all of these things that I'm gonna mention actually are an easy fix, in my opinion. They might not be an easy fix, but I feel like in my opinion, it's nothing like crazy. Another thing I think that they need to change is that you should be able to have moderators on Posh shows. You can have moderators on Whatnot. I love my mod squad. I love my girls. They're amazing. Um, but it's just so much easier to have a mod when you have people that have like requests for things or if people ask a question and you don't see the chat. I feel like you should be able to do that on Poshmark because it just makes the show run so much smoother. Um, like I can't remember shit. So if somebody's like telling me request numbers or, you know, they want to run this or that, I can't remember it. I'd have to write it down and that takes away from the show and I don't know. I feel like having a mod is just a super easy thing to be able to implement. Oh, another thing, you can't click on people's names in the chat. Um, so that's kind of, I don't know. I mean, I, that's kind of annoying to me because I know on whatnot, like if somebody says something in the chat, like if somebody's like, oh, I have a show coming up, like I can click on their name and follow them and bookmark their show. Poshmark doesn't have like the bookmarking thing yet. I feel like I could add that to the list. You should be able to, well, all right, hold on, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but yeah, you can't click on somebody's name in the chat. So I think that's just kind of like, eh, you know, I'd like to be able to, you know, if they say something funny, like, oh, this, this person's cool, I wanna follow them, or I wanna check out one of their shows. You can't do that. I'm gonna save the biggest thing for last, cause I know some of you guys are probably like, Vanessa, Vanessa, mention this, mention this. I'm gonna save the biggest, and I feel like most obvious thing for last. Um, what else? Oh, okay, another thing I don't like is that you can't see um, like the description. So you can only see, um, like when you, when you pin something, I don't know if it's called pinning on whatnot, you pin something like before you run it. I don't know if it's called pinning on Poshmark. Basically it's like selecting the next item that you're going to run. It'll show on the bottom of the screen. Um, just the title. You can't see the description on whatnot. You can do a title and a description. And I feel like that's helpful because you know, you have like the title and then in the description, I put the size and like measurements. You can tap on it. And now they have like a picture in picture type thing where if you tap on the listing at the bottom, it'll actually bring up the full listing in your closet while the video is still on, like it minimizes the video. Um, so I guess there's that, but I don't know. I feel like it's just easier if it's just all on the screen. People don't have to tap because, you know, they might tap out and I don't know. I feel like that's, again, an easy fix. They have started rolling out notifications and I think that that's a big one. Um, so I have... 277,000 followers on Poshmark and they've started rolling out notifications to people and I think that that is a great thing but it definitely can be overwhelming if you're following a shit ton of people like I am. Ah, my battery's dying. I'm following 833,000 people. So yeah, I feel like I haven't really been overwhelmed with notifications though. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram complain about that but I feel like I just dropped my phone. I feel like I haven't really been overwhelmed with notifications. I think you should be able to pick and choose who you want to receive notifications from though. I know that you can turn off all notifications um, for Posh Shows in your settings, 
but I don't want to turn off all of them because there are some people that I follow and I do want to know when they have shows. So I think you should be able to um, have the option of like turning on notifications for specific people. And we'll tell you some positive things at the end too because I feel like I'm just kind of like bitching and complaining right now. So I will tell you some positive things at the end. Uh, what else? Okay, the fees. I mean, the fees, I don't know. I don't know if they're ever going to change that. It's 20%. It is literally like the highest of every platform. Yeah, if they could change that, that would be great. So 20%, that's still like a very steep fee. I really wish they could change that. Um, another thing that I wish they had that Whatnot has, and I feel like I'm super spoiled with it, is instant payout. And I know that they're like implementing instant payout once something is delivered, but Whatnot offers it like as soon as you end the show. So basically their stipulations, you have to have a thousand sales on Whatnot and then you are eligible for instant payout. And literally as soon as you end the show, as soon as you um, print the labels or like send the labels to be printed, you get your payout. And that's amazing. I've definitely been spoiled with that. <laughs> um, again, I know Poshmark has implemented their instant payout, but you still have to wait for delivery. You have to wait for it to be delivered or be accepted by the buyer. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if that's something that they're going to change. Again, I've just been spoiled with whatnot. Whatnot is amazing in that sense. Like it's great. It's great to be able to do a show and get paid instantly for your work. Okay. The biggest thing you ready, you guys probably already know if you've been to a pause show, if you've had a pause show bundling, you can't bundle things. You can't bundle things. What I love about Poshmark is that you can bundle things when you purchase from somebody's closet. You can't do that on Mercari. You can't do that on eBay. It doesn't make sense to me why Poshmark doesn't allow bundling with live shows. My first show, I had one person that asked to bundle. And basically what I had to do was um, cancel their two orders and then make a new listing for the two items. Like they bought two things. So I had to cancel those two orders, make a new listing for the two items that they bought. And then they purchased that. Um, but this show, I had six people that wanted to do that. And one person bought five things. Another person bought four things, maybe two people about four things, but it was a pain in the butt, you know, like it was a pain to go through the orders and, you know, see which ones that they had and then add up the amount. And then, you know, there's math involved. I'm like, ah, shit. Um, so yeah, so that was, that was frustrating. It was time consuming. Um, and I hope that that is something I feel like a lot of people have complained about that and rightfully so. Cause I feel like that should have just been like automatic. Cause again, Poshmark is known for being able to bundle. Um, so Hopefully they change that soon because again, a lot of people are complaining about that. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can, you know, work around it, but it's a pain in the ass, especially if you have like a lot of sales and a lot of people that want to bundle things. Um, what I did or what one circumstance, actually the girl was like, can you cancel the orders before I purchase the bundle because I had a credit and I'm like, oh shit, you know, what if she actually doesn't purchase the bundle? But she ended up doing that. Um, but what I did was you know, I created the new bundle listing and I didn't cancel the other orders until they purchased that bundle and that worked out. Uh, but it's just a pain in the ass. You know, it's a pain in the ass for me. It's a pain in the ass for the buyer too, you know, because they don't want to have to pay shipping more than once. They should be able to pay shipping one time. I was just really shocked when I found out that they didn't have bundling as an option. But again, we're in beta phase. We're in beta. We're in beta. So hopefully that will change. I feel like it will. Otherwise, people are going to continue to voice their opinion and be really pissed off about it. Both sellers and buyers. Okay, now some positive things about Posh Shows. Uh, so I guess one thing is that Poshmark already has like established buyers. Like I feel like on Whatnot, and I mean, everyone's gonna say this, right now it's mostly resellers. So people are going on there looking to get a deal. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've had awesome shows where like regular buyers, like I've, I've had awesome shows. Let's just leave it at that. But again, I feel like there are more resellers on Poshmark than there are like genuine buyers. And I feel like no one's right outside the door. I feel like Poshmark is maybe the opposite. There are a lot of people that just buy things on Poshmark. I mean, obviously there's resellers on there too, but I feel like they already have that like established, um, a uh, group of buyers on there that aren't looking to get things for like a dollar. I mean, obviously this, what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, obviously they still want to get deals, you know, but they are willing to pay up for things that are worth it, you know, whereas a reseller isn't because they want to turn around and make money on that too, you know? And I think that's honestly <laughs> the only thing that I can think of at the moment. Again, they're still in beta phase. All I know is that I am really spoiled by whatnot. Like I have a great following on there. Oh, that's another thing, I guess. Um, the community aspect on whatnot, 
it's amazing. Like, I've made some amazing friends on there. It's definitely more social than Posh Shows. Um, Poshmark has always been, like, you know, we're a, um, like a social app, you know? There's, there's the sharing, sharing your closet, sharing other people's closets. So they do have that social aspect to it. Um, but I feel like not so much in the Posh Shows now. I feel like the whatnot, like, community is, like, a lot stronger in that sense. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Um, all I know is that I've made some amazing friends on Whatnot. With Whatnot, obviously, I sell on there. Um, I also buy on there, but I also go on there to, like, hang out and talk to people. So I feel like Poshmark doesn't really have that real community aspect just yet. It is very new, so... Maybe time will tell. Again, we're in beta phase. Just keep that in mind. All these things I'm complaining about could change. Um, they just rolled it out, and they're going to get a lot of feedback. They're going to get a lot of opinions. So we'll see what they do to change things. Um, but, yeah, I mean, as far as what I prefer right now, obviously it's whatnot. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I probably left some stuff out. I literally just made this video on the fly. I took down a couple of notes, and that's what I could come up with. Um, you guys should comment down below and let me know your thoughts if you have had a posh show, if you've attended a posh show. I literally have no charge batteries. Like, all of these batteries, they're not charged. They're not charged. They don't have any charge batteries. So I'm gonna go, because this one's blinking now, too. Um, but yeah, just comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I will have my links to both Poshmark and whatnot down below. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.